Hello, today we will be folding an Origami Noria Star designed by Aldo Marcel. This is one of my favorite modular models and it's not very difficult to fold. This model requires four square sheets of paper. Each unit is folded from half a square, so before you get started, you'll need to cut each of your four squares in half. And once you're done with that, you'll be left with eight equally sized rectangles and then you can start folding your first unit. And I'll be using paper with color on both sides, but if you're using paper with color on one side and white on the other, start with the white side up. And we're going to start by folding in half horizontally. So take this bottom edge and fold it up to the top edge. Align the corners and the edges. But you don't want to make your crease all the way. You just want to make a small crease on the left and a small crease on the right, just to use as references for later. So once you've made those two small creases, then you can unfold. Now we're going to fold the top and bottom edges into a line with these two horizontal reference creases we just made. So let's start with this bottom edge and we're just going to fold it up like this. Align it with both of those reference creases. Then once it's aligned, you can make your crease. Make sure you crease all the way. And then once you have this, then you can rotate the paper and do the same exact thing. So we're going to fold the bottom edge up and align it with those two creases or you can just align it with the edge we just folded down. So just fold up the bottom edge, align it with the top edge, and then make your crease. Again, make sure you crease all the way, and then your model should look like this. Now we're going to fold these two bottom corners into a line with these two horizontal edges in the center of the model here. So let's start with this bottom left corner, and we're simply going to align this edge here with these edges in the center here. So let's start by lifting up this bottom left corner, and once all the edges are aligned, it should look like this, then you can make your crease. After you've made your crease, it should look like this, and then you want to do the same thing on this bottom right corner. So once again, we're simply going to align this edge here with these edges in the center of the model here. So we're going to start by simply lifting up this bottom right corner, and once all the edges are aligned just like this, then you can make your crease. And once you've done that on both sides, your model should look like this, and then you want to unfold the two corners we just folded up. So just push them back down, just like this, and then you want to turn the model over. Now we're going to fold the right edge over until this point here where the bottom edge and this crease intersect is directly over top of this bottom left corner here. So we're going to start by pulling over this right edge, and once that point where the edge and the crease intersect is directly over that bottom left corner, then you can make your crease. But before you make your crease, double check to make sure that the point and the bottom corner align. Then again, make your crease. Make sure you make a sharp crease because you're creasing through quite a few layers. And then you can unfold. And now we're going to do the same thing on the left. So we're going to fold this left edge over until this point here where the bottom edge and this crease intersect is directly on top of this bottom right corner. So we're going to start by pulling over this left edge. And as soon as that point is directly on top of that bottom right corner, then you can make your crease. Make sure you double check before you're making your crease, then crease sharply, and then you can unfold. Now we're going to fold this top edge down and align it with these two vertical creases we just made. So let's start with this left side and we're just going to fold this top edge down and align it with this left vertical crease here. So we're just going to pull it down and starting at the top of this crease, we're going to align the edge with the crease. Then as soon as the entire edge is aligned, just like this, then you can make your crease. Crease sharply. And then once you have that, you want to do the same thing on the right. So we're going to fold this top edge down and align it with this right vertical crease. So again, pull the top edge down. Starting at the top of the crease, you're going to align the edge with the crease. Then as soon as the entire edge is aligned, just like this, then you can make your crease. And once you've done that on both sides, your model should look like this. And then you want to turn the model over. Now we're going to do something similar to what we did before. We're going to fold these two edges in and align them with these two vertical creases we used before. So we're going to start with this left side and we're going to align this edge here with this left vertical crease. So we're just going to pull this edge in and you want to let this trap layer out from underneath then again, starting at the top of this crease, you're going to align the edge with the crease. Then work your way down until the entire edge is aligned, just like this. Then you can make your crease. 
It's a little bit easier to lift up this layer and crease underneath, but you can do it either way. So once you've made your crease, it should look like this. Then you want to do the same thing on the right. So we're going to fold this right edge in and align it with this right vertical crease. So again, just pull it in like this, let that trap layer out from underneath. Then starting at the top of the crease, you're just going to align the edge with the crease. Then again, work your way down until the entire edge is aligned like this. Then you can open this up and make your crease underneath. Make your crease sharp. And once you have this, then you can turn the model over. Now we're going to fold these two edges into a line with these vertical creases once again. So let's start with this left edge and we're just going to pull it up like this. And you're going to pull it up pretty much as far as it'll go. You'll see that it'll stop at this point here. So you're just going to pull it up like that. And then you're going to align this edge with this left vertical crease. So once you've aligned the edge in the crease just like this, then you can make your crease. Crease sharply. And then once you have that, you want to do the same thing on the right. So we're going to take this right edge here and align it with this right vertical crease. So again, we're just going to pull it up as far as it goes. And I'll stop at that point there. Just going to pull it up like this. And then align this edge with that right vertical crease. So once they're aligned, then you can make your crease. And once you have this, then you can turn the model over. Now we're going to reinforce these two vertical mountain folds underneath these edges here. So let's start with this left one and we're just going to pick up the model and pinch that left vertical crease from the top. So we're just going to pinch it like this and make sure it's a mountain fold. Then you want to do the same thing on the right. So we're going to pinch this vertical crease here and make sure that one's a mountain fold as well. Then once you've done that on both sides, your model should look like this. And this is one completed unit. Now you must fold seven more. Once you've completed all eight units, then you're going to need two to start the assembly. Then, pick up the first one, and you'll notice that it has a small flap like this on each side, and it also has a small pocket underneath this layer here on each side. So we're going to start by picking up the second unit, and we're going to insert the second unit's flap inside of the first unit's pocket. So simply insert this flap inside of this pocket, just like this, then push it in as far as it'll go, and once you have that, then just turn the model over and do the same exact thing. So again, insert the second unit's flap inside of the first unit's pocket, just like we did before. Push it in all the way. And once you have this, turn the model back over. And now you can continue adding more units. So now we're going to add this third unit the same way. We're going to insert the third unit's flap inside of the second unit's pocket, just like we did before. So insert the flap inside of the pocket, just like this. Again, push it in as far as it'll go. Then once you have something like that, turn the model over and do the same exact thing. So insert the third unit's flap inside of the second unit's pocket, just like this. Again, push it in as far as it goes. And then once you have this, turn the model over, and then you can add your fourth unit. Now I'm not going to explain how to connect every unit, mainly because they're all connected the same way. So just continue adding units the same way until you get to the last one. Before you add your last unit, make sure that you pull the first unit's flaps out on top of the other units. So we're going to start on this side and we're just going to pull this flap out from underneath just so that it's on top of the other units. So make sure that flap's on top. Then if that center point comes apart, just shift the units around again so it comes to a somewhat decent point. Then what you want to do is turn the model over and do the same exact thing. So you're going to pull this first unit's flaps out on top of the rest of the units just like this. 
Then shift the rest of the units around so they come to a nice point. And once you have something like this, you can turn the model right back over. And then you can add your last unit. And we're going to do that by inserting the last unit's flap inside of the seventh unit's pocket. So we're just going to move some layers around so that we can see that pocket. Now we're going to insert the last unit's flap inside of it. So just push it in as far as it'll go. Then turn the model over and do the same exact thing. So you're going to insert the last unit's flap inside of the seventh unit's pocket, just like we did on the other side. So once it's in like this, then you'll notice that the central point in the star is not coming together like it did before. So in order to fix that, we again have to take this first unit's flaps out on top of the other units. So we're just going to pull it out from underneath, just like we did before. Make sure that flap is out on top of the other units. And now you'll see that you can kind of bring more of the units together. But we just have to do that one more time. So flip the model over. And again, pull the first unit's flaps out on top of the other units. So pull it out like this. And now I can bring most of the units together. Then what we want to do to finish off the model is to insert the first unit's flaps inside of the last unit's pockets. So we're going to start on the top and insert this first flap inside of the last pocket, just like this. Then flip it over, and once again insert the first flap inside of the last pocket, just like that. Then once you're done, bring all the units together so they come to a nice point. And once you have this, then your Noria star is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to fold an origami Noria star designed by Aldo Marcel. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and thank you for watching.